In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to turn your class notes, ebook, or any PDF into an audiobook coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to Rising to Be, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be, helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. I now upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and on Wednesdays I post motivational and productivity videos, and on Saturday I post planner and organization videos to help you on your journey of rising to be who you want to be. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can become a riser. Don't act like the fake people that stop by to watch my videos, but never click like. I just want you to know I see you and you're very petty. Stop being fake and click like, it's free I promise. And click the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Sometimes YouTube likes to hide my videos if you don't also click the bell, so make sure you do that as well. Now that you've liked and subscribed, I have to say that you are truly a blessing for clicking on my video. So thank you. I'm really trying to get monetized in these YouTube streets. So thank you. So let's get into the video. Anyway, today's video is going to be about turning your class notes, ebook, or any PDF into an audiobook. School is about to be back in session, and the best way to stay on top of your classes is by turning your class notes, ebook, or any PDF into an audiobook. In this video, I'm going to show you how, in three different ways, to easily listen to your notes and study faster. Now, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Option one have Siri read everything on your screen easily using a few buttons. So the first way to turn your class notes ebook and a PDF into an audiobook, you can use Siri. Have Siri read everything on your screen easily using a few buttons. First, you have to enable it on your computer. Start by clicking on the Apple logo on the upper left hand side of your screen. And you're just going to scroll down to System Preferences and click. Once you've opened System Preferences, you have to click on Accessibility. Now that you're in accessibility, you're going to click on speech and click on the speak selected text when the key is pressed. I chose S for speech. It's easy to remember when working when I need my computer to speak for me. You can even change your computer's voice by swapping and hearing a preview of the voice by pressing play. Using the drop down arrows to find a voice you like and even change the speed using the speaking rate by sliding it left to right to find a speed that works best for you. And now you're ready to start listening to your notes. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I just want to share the word of the day with you, which is creative, relating or involving the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. And our monthly theme for the month of August is the month of creating your own path. If you want to stay motivated and inspired all month long, you can download my motivational wallpapers for your computer and phone down below. Option two, if you're ever tired of typing, you can use the voice typing function provided in Google Docs. So the second way to turn your class notes, ebooks, and PDFs into an audiobook is through using the voice typing function. If you're ever tired of typing, you can use the voice typing function provided in Google Docs, which turns your very own words into text into your document a major time saver, or even when your hands have started to cramp up from so much writing. Simply press on tools in the toolbar. And then next you're going to scroll down to voice typing. Simply press on the microphone to use it on your computer and then begin typing when the microphone is read and you're good to go. Happy typing. And simply press it again to deactivate the microphone. Stay up to date with everything Rising TV by signing up to the weekly newsletter. It's filled with blogs, videos, exclusive freebies, and so much more to help you rise to be who you want to be. Create results, not plans. Don't stop rising. If you're watching on IGTV, you can sign up through my link in bio. Keep rising. Follow me on Instagram at Rising to Be for motivational content and Twitter at I am Rising to Be for inspirational tweets. Follow me on Pinterest at Rising to Be for several boards of inspiration and motivation. And join the Rising to Be Facebook group at Rising to Be. Keep rising. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments what tip you'll use to turn your notes, ebook, or a PDF into an audiobook. 
and I just want to share the question of the day with you which is what will you create this month let me know your answers down below and don't forget to download my free monthly motivational wallpapers for your computer and phone the monthly theme for the month of August is the month of creating your own path to keep you motivated and inspired all month long and you can get that for free down below now back to the video books notes and PDF files into an audiobook is through using the speak function on your computer first you're gonna find some text or content to use in order to get started we must first find some text to use so first find what text you want to listen to you can even use programs like Microsoft Word notes and the pages app on your computer this technique can also be used with PDFs as well all right so second you're gonna highlight what you want to hear once you've successfully chosen the program and text you, you want, now it's time to highlight the text you want to hear. Simply highlight what you want and then double click so that your computer shows a pop-up box. Next, you're gonna click on services and then scroll down to add to music as a spoken track. Next, you're gonna label your file. After you've clicked add to music as a spoken track, you'll be prompted with the text to audio box. And now all you have to do is label it. Choose where you would like on your computer to save it. And even you can choose the voice you wanna hear it in. Then click continue. Next, you're gonna take a listen. Your computer should automatically play the audio file immediately through iTunes on your computer. And you can even add the audio file to your computer or phone so that you can easily listen to your notes on the go, no matter where you are. Optional, add to devices. You can easily add and import the file to your devices by connecting it to your computer and clicking on the three dots in iTunes. When you get to the pop-up box, simply click on add to phone or iPad and wait for it to fully transfer over to your device and you're good to go. And I'll see you in my next video. I now upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And on Wednesdays, I post motivational and productivity videos. And on Saturday, I post planner and organization videos. If you have a video idea on what you would like to see next, comment it down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people like you can watch more videos just like this. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. I truly appreciate it. Remember, as we rise to be, we are becoming who we want to be. I am Christine to be rising and I will always be rising. So keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye.